How's it going, guys? I hope you're all doing well. My name's Tyler, I go by Zany Online, and welcome to the channel and to another one of my videos. Just preemptively, I do want to go ahead and say thank you to my fantastic patrons over at Patreon. Uh, links to Discord and Patreon will be in the description below. Russell Willis, Seneca, Arch Center, Joshua Lee, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux Cast. Thank you guys for your support. If you want to go join them, again, that link's in the description. And with that over, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into talking about using OpenBSD, the current branch, and kind of the stuff that I've learned in doing so. First things first, running OpenBSD-current is really not too different than running just regular OpenBSD. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with what OpenBSD-Current is or whatever, it's essentially the testing branch of OpenBSD. And the only reason I'm really running it is because of support for my hardware and everything. But I will most likely not be running Current as soon as 7.1 is fully released. Now, because I've been running it for about a week or so and I'm new to it, I've learned a few things about the quirks of it that I hope I can pass on in a intelligible or at least half intelligible way. First things first, to know when running a snapshot, if you're not running it and you're just running the regular version of OpenBSD, but you want to move to the current branch, it's very simple. If you're logged in as your regular user, obviously use do as, and then you're going to run sys upgrade, which this is how you're going to upgrade, you know, uh, your uh, OpenBSD setup, no matter what, to the next version. Whenever. And of course, the dogs have to go crazy as, <laughs> as soon as I start getting into it. But sys upgrades the tool that you're going to use to regularly upgrade from one release to the next on regular OpenBSD. Here, you're going to run it with the dash S flag, and that will upgrade you to a snapshot, which is essentially the current branch. And uh, very frequently on the current branch, they take the current branch, package it up into a snapshot, and this will upgrade you to the latest snapshot that's available on whatever mirror that you're using, which, again, all mirrors should be mirroring the same thing you get the point anyway this will upgrade you to a snapshot and as soon as you've run that command and you're on the next snapshot then what you want to do is run pkg underscore add with the dash uvi flag to upgrade verbose i mean you could just do the dash u flag but whatever i like to do this but anyway um and if for some reason you run this command here, um, I'll cancel it out if this doesn't work, but maybe, here we go, perfect, awesome. So there's a new snapshot that I could, or essentially what I could do right now is run that sysupgrade command and I would actually, there's a new snapshot for me to download. So I could grab it um, or there might not be, I don't know there but typically when you get this there's a good chance that that's um the case but when running a snapshot a lot of the times just these regular command the pkg add re with the regular command just putting in you know um maybe use the dash v flag and then specify a package name and it'll install it no problem but sometimes when the snap when you're running a snapshot or on the current branch and it's getting closer towards the version release you'll actually need to run the command here with a special flag dash d and then snap dash uvi or package name whatever and this tells the pkg add program that hey you're running a snapshot and it's going to actually check and it will correctly run now the reason that's happening if we if we run it regularly it's telling you that there's no such directory and it's looking for the actual release directory which obviously doesn't exist because well it hasn't been released yet but it's so close 
in the development that it's titled the same thing and it, you know it's getting ready to be released. So this is one of the things that can be a little quirky about running the current branch on OpenBSD and it's just good to know. Now also something to keep in mind when you run that sysupgrade command you will reboot at the end of the command. Let me make that very clear. You're going to reboot after because after you've run the upgrade command, it needs to reboot, apply the patches and new kernel and all that good stuff, and then boot. So uh, when you run that sysupgrade command, do it knowing that you're going to reboot at the end of the command when it finishes downloading and doing all its shit. Just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like there's really not that much quirk. Again, when it comes to OpenBSD, one of the things that I like about it, it's very simple. And this is the com complex problem and fixing it is with one flag. That's, that's it. So it's really not crazy, not insane. Um, but yeah, uh, let me zoom in a bit, but that's pretty much the biggest quirkiness of using OpenBSD on the current branch. Now, if you try to update packages or install a package and it's telling you that the package doesn't exist, but you've gone into the ports tree or something and you know it exists and it should be there, most likely what's happening is there's a new snapshot out that the libraries and and Really, I don't know the fine details of it, but essentially, if you run the sysupgrade command with a dash s, because again, that's what you're going to need to run it with when you're running dash current, because you want the snapshot. You, you're, and also, by the way, if you accidentally run sys, sysupgrade on the current branch without the dash s flag, it's fine. It'll error out. It's it's okay. It's it's not going to like bork your system trying to go back to the release. For it's it's fine. If you and try to install something that and you know it should be there and it's not installing, most likely you just need to upgrade to the last to, to the latest snapshot. You're just a little bit behind in the placement of things. The libraries for things are just wrong, and so you need to fix that and essentially every time you run the sys upgrade command and you're done rebooting and you're back into your system just in case it didn't actually run or you need to log into wi-fi or something like that after the the reboot and you've got internet again if you don't already have it using ethernet or whatever run the firmware uh fw underscore update command to get your again if you're using a regular user it's just fw underscore update not too not too hard just run this command to make sure that you don't have any new uh firmware to pull in which obviously i don't and then run the package add dash d snap uh update command to update all of your packages because when you're running the testing branch, there's obviously probably going to be updates to some of the packages that you have installed because, well, you're running the bleeding edge and you're going to get the bleeding edge. So, yeah, hopefully this was informative. Um, if you have further questions or I did a shit job of explaining something, which is very possible, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, I've got a subscribe button. YouTube puts it there for you and you can click it and the notification bell. I don't know why they make it two steps. Thanks, YouTube. You're awesome. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.